the lawmaker in El Paso demanding transparency. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Natasha Paloma. Congresswoman Yvette Harrell touring Fort Bliss where Afghan refugees are housed. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in Northeast El Paso with what Harrell had to say about why she's fighting for more transparency. And Natasia, Congresswoman Harrell says she wanted to get answers to some questions she had during her tour today of Fort Bliss, specifically about that Fort Bliss soldier that was assaulted by Afghan evacuees. She says she did find out more information about that, but she left with more questions regarding the vetting process that the evacuees are going through and how many Americans are still in Afghanistan. Representative Harrell says that the last report she had was that there were anywhere from 200 to 9,000 Americans still in Afghanistan, telling KTSM 9 News that the military installations are making the best of what she calls, quote, an unbelievable circumstance, but says she was able to find out more information regarding the Fort Bliss soldier who was assaulted by a group of Afghans. The only thing I learned today uh, that I did not know is that the service member, the female who had been assaulted, is back at work but not working at the base camp, um, the refugee camp, the village. Um, the investigation is still ongoing, and to be honest, no, I have not gotten the answers to my questions. Representative Harold tells me she is fighting for the Biden administration to be more transparent, speaking about her questions regarding the vetting process. Now, Representative Harold did tell me that she is a proud of the people here at Fort Bliss and at other military installations on the work they are doing to try to alleviate the stress that the Afghan evacuees are going through. Reporting live in Northeast El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM at 9 News. All right, Shelby, thank you.